All right, what's up everybody? Another day, another property tour. If you guys are just tuning into the channel for the first time, my name is Chuck, it's Crusoe with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor. So today I'm here in the southwest of the Las Vegas Valley in the master plan community called Mountain's Edge. As you can see that this lovely home that we are gonna be touring today is at the end of a cul-de-sac here. This home is actually owned by Zillow. Now. Home was actually built in 2006. It is 2,858 square feet, four bedrooms, a den, and four baths. And it has a, like a casita and a three car garage. Well, which is really nice. Let's take a look on this side. Well, let's see what we got. Oh, I forgot to mention the asking price, 638,900. So here's your gas meter. Looks like the exterior could be painted. All right, it's about due. Uh, paint here will last about 10 to 15 years, depending on the type of quality paint that you get. Or well, here's actually your main road, Grommer. Okay, then you have Grommer and Buffalo, which is right on the corner. So you're gonna get a lot of that noise traffic. For me, it's not a big deal. But again, this is something that you may want to consider and look out for because sometimes it may irritate you. I don't know. For me, it's just not a big deal. All right. So we got the Spanish concrete tile for the roof line. Looks like we also have stucco. And looks like we have some eaves here. Okay. All right. We're coming through this iron door right into the uh, courtyard. Nice water feature here. Looks like they painted the columns. Not bad. Now right here, what we have is a, I don't want to say a casita because there's no kitchen or anything in here. Now it is a little bit dark. It's just like one room. The padding on here is very cushiony. You do have your own air conditioning unit, which is a plus. Now you guys can't see, so I apologize because it's so dark because there's no light in here. Now this French door right here would lead you right into the um, kitchen. I'm gonna try to get this gimbal a little bit more straight. Here we go. A little bit more straight. Here we go. I like it perfect. Here's your side yard right here. But we'll explore that in just a second. Let's go back to the front here. Definitely do like that water feature. Beautiful French doors. Eight feet as we come in, you got 18 by 18, this Spanish colonial type of tile. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm just making that up. Wow. I mean, architecturally design wise, I'm, I'm feeling it, right? This is not my style, but I can tell you this. These are the things that really tickle my pickle, right? Because I love homes like how you guys love cars, right? And I can appreciate stuff like this. So there was a lot of aftermarket done as far as that cladding with the glass tile here. I don't know about how I'm feeling with this. I'm not too sure what look they were going for. Now these are not supporting beams, okay? As you can see, they're very hollow. Let's take a look at the uh, kitchen here. You got a one inch bull mills on the granite here. You got the rental sink and the faucet too as well. This is what I got right here. Believe it or not, this is $90. You believe that? $90 for that thing. GE appliances, the uh, cabinets. The front cabinets look to be quality. Wow, how cute this little light rail is. Oh, look at this. Oh, it doesn't work. You got your standard cabinet. Yeah, your 36 inch cook countertop, not bad. Double stack. Here's your pantry. Let's see what this pantry is all about. What do we got in this pantry? You got your walk in pantry. I'm walking in. That's pretty much about it right there. 
and it looks like we have a couple showings already. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. XP Ruth, she's cute. If you guys are interested in purchasing home, uh, make sure to give her a call. Okay. Here's Billy. Give him a shot too. You can go go ahead and uh, give him a call. There's enough business to go around, so you know what? We're gonna plug in some of these people here. Okay. Looks like your refrigerator is gonna go here. And this is only like a 36 inch cubic inch on the refrigerator. Uh, looks like they had some plumbing issues at one point because they had to cut out this drywall for some reason. Something I would definitely ask, right? These are things that you should just look out for, right? You know, a home really tells a story, right? You should be able to go into a home. Well, you're probably not gonna be able to do that because you guys haven't been doing this as long as I have. And, seen all kind of things but oh i love this catwalk right here this probably what makes the house in this architectural design okay while i'm down here i'm just gonna go ahead and just walk back what i like about this home is that you have a lot of air i'm sorry air what the hell am i saying a lot of light that's coming in wow take a look at this now this lot size is uh 8700 square feet so it's a pretty decent lot size Looks like they had something going here. I'm not too sure what that was. But I mean, let's just take a look at this. Enjoy it, folks. All right, let's come back up this way here. So here's that street that I was telling you about. So this is definitely gonna be your main road here, okay? Here, this mountain right here, this is like one of the most popular mountains here that people hike as you can see there's multiple trails right so this is actually a part of mountain's edge so just right above here this next block on over you're gonna have all your ample shopping uh sh shopping and also you should be able to hit the airport from here less than like 20 minutes right you got blue diamond so there's a lot that's going on here but let's take a moment of silence so that way you guys can hear the cars Now let me know in the comments below if it's a big deal to you. For me, it's not. We're gonna take a walk back here. Also, the other thing is that I'm juiced up right now. I was drinking a lot of energy drinks because I was a little bit tired. But now I'm on the go. And that's just who I am as far as personality. You know, I like to have fun. Some people are gonna hate. Some people are gonna say you're unprofessional. Hey, look, I can't get everybody to like me. I just need a few of you guys to like me. Trust me and you trust the process. Let's do some business. If not, you guys can definitely contact those realtors that I've uh, plugged in. There's enough money to go around, right? Let's take a look at these uh, air conditioning units, some Bryant's air conditioning units. Uh, it looks fairly in good, decent shape here. And it looks like they were trying to do some koi ponds or something right there. All right, let's come back here. The uh, discoloration that here, that you see right here, basically what's happening is uh, the rocks. Rocks are, uh, the water is splashing on the rocks in the rain, hitting the stucco next thing you know it what's happening is you're getting that color dis uh, color discoloration okay all right let's take a look at this grill here the way that this home is architecturally designed goes with the decor and the theme of the home so you couldn't really change it that's the problem is that depending on the type of style of the home, right, or the design you want, you really got to look at how the home is constructed. Like this, you could put some modern fixtures, but then you would clash it. Now, some people would like that, some people don't. I don't know. For me, I'm more of a modern type of guy. I love those straight lines. I have not yet purchased a modern home. I will eventually, but it's going to be a single story. And I think where I'm going to be purchasing a home is probably McDonald Highlands in Henderson. 
And I want to keep it around 4,000 square feet. Right? I don't really need all the space. But I want to design a home that's very functional. I mean, there's certain things that you have to have, like two bathrooms, two laundry rooms, right? I'm definitely gonna have a, a pool bathroom because I'm definitely gonna be building a pool. Now, you know, I got a couple buddies that uh, we're thinking about partnering up with and building a custom home and doing a signature design by Chuck It's, but I mean, I've got so much going on right now that I, I just can't keep up with all these ideas. I really need to hire a, probably like more of like a, a manager or something like that to manage and take over all my ideas and bring it to fruition, right? Let's see what we got here. Water softener. Looks fairly new, this uh, hot water heater. Let me see how many gallons this thing is. All right, help me find out how many gallons this is, guys. We know it's 150 PSI on here, but gallon-wise, what the hell is the gallons on here? All right, we're not gonna spend too much time on here. Now, the third car garage is just more of a storage. So basically what would happen there, uh, you could get, it's not attached to the house. So there's nothing you could do about that. I don't know if I showed you guys this. Half bath. A little bit dark here. What the hell is going on? Okay, so it's not working. Well, let's come back over here. Let's go upstairs. But before I do, let me show you this right here. Show you this angle because I think this is also important. Yeah, like I was saying, I probably need like a a business manager or something like that. I don't even know what the title of it, but I need somebody to come in that can basically help me with a bunch of things. Create a new website, right? Put all that together with all my ideas and thoughts. Uh, marketing, right? Thinking about creating a book. I started on a book, but then I stopped. Again, there's just so many ideas. As far as product line, grout cleaners I mean there's just so much look I don't know if somebody out there that specializes in business that can help me take it to another level the pay would be really good also there'd be bonuses as well and I'm not talking about 30,000 40,000 a year I'm looking to grow together what do we got here? So this is a little bit strange. It's on this side, okay? And on this side. I just slammed the door, I do apologize. That was very rude. I love this catwalk though, I mean. Look at that. All right. Maybe it's business development? I don't know, let me know in the comments below. But we are also hiring a, another editor. I've been doing a couple of interviews, but can't find an editor that specializes in like social media for like Instagram, TikTok, that has their own equipment. We don't have the time to train. Also a graphic designer too as well. Alright, let's see here. I'm just gonna turn off this light. Here we go. Now let's head over to the uh, primary. Primary separate. Now the primary on this one is uh what is it saying on the primary? It's gotta be more than that. Let's take a look at my cheat sheet. 
Oh, 18 by 15. Okay. Not bad. So it looks like your TV is going to go there. We've got like, tw what? 12 foot ceilings here on the second floor, which is very, very unique for that second floor. Normally they don't do that because it's not cost effective on the build. This has just got to be your walk-in closet. Oh, I like how the fact that you got lights here. I'm not lights, but windows. I like that. However, with the windows there, now you can't build another shelf. That's the only thing that sucks. I mean, this tub is in pretty good condition. It's fiberglass tub here. Okay. I mean, that's pretty much it. Not bad at all. Oh, did I even show you? Oh, I didn't even show you guys like the balcony, did I? Oh no, we did go off the balcony, you big dummy. Wow. All right. Let's finish off this video, guys. If you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, if you guys want more information about this property, go ahead and click on the link in the description below. In addition to that, go ahead and click on the uh, link in the comments below. Make it a lot easier for you guys to find. Also, earnest money deposit, $6,400. If you guys want to tie this thing up into an escrow, okay? Property tax is $3,448. Master plan fee, $93 a quarter. That's right. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Chuck. It's Crucible with Simply Vegas. I wish you guys nothing but the best and be blessed, folks. Did you like that video home tour? Are you a fan of this channel and you want to get plugged into the real estate market? Well, I got something for you. We have a new channel, real estate, vlogs, Las Vegas lifestyle, behind the scene, financing, flipping, commercial properties, interviews, local businesses, Chuck It's Crusoe 2.0. Check it out.